Multiplying matrices. In this example, we're going to be multiplying a 2 by 2 matrix uh, with a 2 by 1 matrix. And we're going to be using a process which I call Dive Bomber. And in this process, uh, each of the rows of the first matrix, uh, row 1, row 2, comes across and dive bombs uh, the columns of the second matrix. So rows, dive bomb columns. So the first uh, row, the 3 and the 5, they start to move a little side, then they start to rotate, and they're going to dive bomb the column in the second matrix. And now that we've matched up the rows and the columns, we get 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4, and that is equal to 26. And this 26 now becomes the first element in the resultant array. And because it's the multiplication of row 1 times column 1, it ends up being row 1, column 1 in the answer matrix. So now let's have a look at the second part of this uh, multiplication. I need to dive bomb uh, row 2 and column 1. So the 7 and the 9, out they come, they spin around and they dive bomb the uh, second matrix. So I, now I get uh, 7 times 2 plus 9 times 4. You'll notice how uh, the 7 and the 2 are multiplied, the 9 and the 4 are multiplied, and that they're added together. Uh, that's 36, and that's 14, so that will equal to 50. And this 50 now becomes row 2, column 1 of the answer matrix. And uh, that is how you do matrix multiplication. In this example, we're going to be multiplying a 2 by 2 matrix uh, with a 2 by 2 matrix. And in this case, the answer is also going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And remember, the, um, the process we're using is a process called dive bombing. Now remember in dive bombing, um, each of the rows, so row 1, is going to come across and dive bomb um, column 1. And the answer to row 1, column 1, will go into row 1, column 1. And then row 1 will dive bomb column 2, and the answer will go into row 1, column 2. And the same process will be repeated uh, with row 2, column 1, going into here, and row 2, column 2, going into here. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. So row 1 comes across and dive bombs column 1, like so. And here we get uh, 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4 which is equal to 26. Um, we know that from the previous slide. This 26, uh, then because it's row 1 times column 1, goes into the result part for row 1, column 1, like so. Now, this 3 and the 5 from uh, row 1 over here also has to dive bomb column 2 over here, like so. And so now we get um, 3 times 1 plus 5 times negative 2. And the answer, of course, is negative 7. And the answer, negative 7, uh, because it's uh, row 1 times column 2, goes into the answer matrix at row 1, column 2. So now we're going to be doing um, row 2, column 1, the 7 and the 9, out they come, they dive bomb the 2 and the 4, like so. And just as in the previous slide, uh, we're going to get 7 times 2 plus 9 times 4, and that is equal to 50. And the 50 uh, comes out, it's 
row 2, column 1 um, of the answer matrix. Now, the 7 and the 9 from row 2 of the first matrix also have to dive bomb the 1 and negative 2, or column 2, of the second matrix. And here we're going to get uh, 7 times 1 plus 9 times negative 2, and the answer to that is negative 11. And this negative 11 is row 2, column 2 of the answer matrix. So if we were just to look at the math of uh, this, um, row 1, column 1 becomes 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4. Um, row 1, column 2 becomes 3 times 1 plus 5 times negative 2. Row 2, column 1 becomes 7 times 2 plus 9 times 4. And row 2, column 2 becomes 7 times 1 plus 9 times negative 2. And that matrix is, of course, the matrix uh, 26, negative 7, 50, negative 11. In this example, I'm going to multiply a 2 by 3 matrix um, by a 3 by 2 matrix. And the answer is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's worth pointing out um, that matrix multiplication is dependent upon the order of the matrices. Remember, the order of this matrix is 2 by 3, and the order of this matrix is 3 by 2. And you can only multiply uh, matrices if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. If these two numbers here don't match up, then you can't multiply matrices. And I'll show you uh, why that is in the next example. Um, it's also interesting uh, to note that the answer matrix will be the size de determined by these first two numbers here. So the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix, that gives us our answer, ma answer matrix. So in this case, we get an answer matrix of a 2 by 2 matrix. So uh, remember we used the process called dive bombing where the first row of this matrix will come along and it will dive bomb the first column of the uh, second matrix. And this might give us a bit of an idea of why the number of rows of the first matrix must match the number of columns in the second matrix. Um, because you'll notice here when we dive bomb this first row, 1, 3, 2, and it comes up against the first column, each of the elements in the first row has a corresponding element in the first column of the second matrix. If uh, there was more numbers in this first matrix here, they'd have nothing to match up against, or the same with the number of columns here. And so that is why the number of um, columns in the first matrix must match the number of rows in the second matrix. So now that we've dive-bombed and matched up our numbers, uh, we can do the arithmetic. It's uh, negative 1 multiplied by 2 plus 3 multiplied by 3 plus 2 times by negative 1, and that will equal 5. And because this was the uh, combination of row 1, column 1, the answer 5 goes into row 1, column 1 of the answer matrix. And now we can proceed to dive bomb the second uh, column. So the numbers of the first row will now uh, match up with the numbers of the second column. And we have um, negative 1 times by 1 plus 3 times by 0, plus 2 times by 7, and the answer to that will equal to 13. And because 13 is uh, row 1, column 2, 
that's the answer that goes into row 1, column 2 of the answer matrix. And now we're ready for row 2. Let's do our dive bombing trick. The 0, the 7, the 9, out they come and they dive bomb and they match up with the numbers of the column in the second matrix. Now we can do our math. We get 0 times by 2 plus 7 times by 3 plus 9 times by negative 1 and that will equal to 12. And the 12 um, is row 2, column 1, and uh, goes into row 2, column 1 of the answer matrix. Now we can take uh, row 2 of the first matrix and match it up with row column 2 of the second matrix. Uh, we get 0 times by 1, plus 7 times by 0, plus 9 times by 7, and that will equal to 63 and 63 is row 2, column 2 of our answer matrix and there is our answer to this uh, matrix multiplication it's the matrix 15, 13, 12 and 63 now, I did misspeak a little earlier in this particular slide. Um, I think I said that the number of rows in the first matches the number of columns, but it is the other way around. Um, in fact, e for to multiply matrices, the number of columns in matrix one, there's one, two, three columns, uh, must match the number of rows in matrix two, one, two, three. So make sure you get that right. Uh, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows. And if we write down the order, we have a two by three matrix multiplied by a three by two matrix. Uh, then as long as these inside numbers match, um, then we are able to do our matrix multiplication. In this example, we have a 2 by 3 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 4 matrix. Now, since the inside numbers, the number of columns in the first matrix by the number of rows in the second matrix match, then we know that we can actually do this multiplication. And we know that the answer matrix is going to be a 2 by 4 matrix. So that's going to be our answer matrix. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be our answer. So we need to do the first um, row by the first column. And this is going to be minus 1, 3, 2. So we're going to get minus 1 times minus 1 plus 3 times 3 plus 2 times 0, and the answer to that is going to be 10. So this was row 1, column 1, so the 10 will be row 1, column 1 um, in our answer matrix. Now we're going to do row 1, column 2, so we're going to have minus 1, uh, 3, and 2 here. And this will be minus 1 times by 0, plus 3 times by 11, plus 2 times negative 2. The answer to that is going to be 29. And this well was row 1, column 2. So that's going to be the answer up there. I'm not really going to have enough room up here for all of these, but I'll see what I can do. Now I won't bore you with the whole lot, um, but the next two uh, numbers will work out to be negative 7 and 28. And now it's time to do the second row. So we're going to end up with um, 0, 7, 9. Um, and we work these out, that'll be um, 7 times by 3. Uh, which is 21. Uh, obviously 0 times negative 1 and 9 times 0 don't count, or they equal 0, but uh, they won't affect it, so we're going to end up with 21. And 21 uh, will be in the first spot on the second row, or row 1, column, sorry, row 2, column 1 of our answer matrix. 
and then the next two numbers are going to work out to be 59 and 19 and the last lot we're going to get uh, 0, 7 and 9 here well 7 times 0 is 0, we're going to get 9 times by 7 plus 4 times by 9 and that will equal to 99 and the 99 will end up in the final spot um, in our answer matrix so there is multiplying a 2 by 3 by a 3 by 4. Okay, so let's look at one that won't work. In this uh, example, we're being asked to multiply a 2 by 3 matrix with a 5 by 2 matrix. And you'll notice now that the inside numbers uh, don't match. There's more columns sorry, there's fewer columns in the first matrix than there are rows in the second matrix. What would happen if we did try to multiply this? If we did try to multiply this and do our dive bomber, out come the rows minus 1, 3 and 2 in the first matrix, and we try to line these up in the second um, matrix, but they only line up with some of the elements. And so if we tried to multiply this out, we'd get minus 1 times by 2 plus 3 times 7 plus 2 times 12 plus um, something. We don't know. We don't know how or what numbers are here. They're undefined. And so we just simply can't uh, work this out. We've got no idea, no information to go on. And that's why um, this particular multiplication would not work. And the answer is um, undefined.